Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Folks, you literally can't make this stuff up. Now, I've seen a whole lot of fear-mongering about the state of Florida being this terrible, evil place. We've seen Joy Ann Reed's ridiculous monologues calling Florida the state of Jim Crow 2.0. I, I, I think, and this is a time when the media needs to see what we see, take history into account. What he's doing there is not normal. It is not what 20 other some odd states are doing. It is different. And, he, you know, people are starting to call it DeSantistan. He is setting up something down there that ain't right. It's a right wing fantasy land like Disney World, but in hell. Come to Florida, the meanest place on earth. Now, the fear mongering, the hyperbole, the exaggeration reaches a certain level with Joy Ann Reed. Of course, none of which is really surprising. That's kind of her shtick. But this. This right over here might take it to a whole other level of absolute wackiness, complete craziness. A Florida chapter of the NAACP is now seeking a possible travel ban for black Americans to the state of Florida because, you won't believe this, Florida is supposedly too racist. And so the intention is to save black Americans from accidentally subjecting themselves to the terrible tyranny of Ron DeSantis and the Republican government. You guys are not gonna believe this. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so first let's give credit. I found this story from Black Conservative Perspective on YouTube. Give his YouTube channel a look. He's got some great content. The title of his video is NAACP Seeks Travel Ban for Black People to Florida as the hood puts Miami Beach in emergency state. Take a look at the clip that he found. Keep people from coming to the Sunshine State. The NAACP Florida State Conference voted unanimously to seek permission from its national headquarters to issue a travel advisory for Florida. Wait News anchor Annette Montgomery joins us in the studio. And Annette, who are they encouraging to stay away? And does the NAACP believe that people will listen? NAACP wants every single black person to stay out of our state and to spend their money someplace else. And the organization believes if it issues such a travel advisory, millions of people will go someplace else. He's our governor now, but if it's up to NAACP leaders here in Florida, like James Muwak Hill, Ron DeSantis will get nowhere near the presidency. The target is directly aimed at black people with some of the dra draconian laws that he's made, such as SB 90, where he's prescripting vote by mail, uh, refusing to allow AP black studies into the classroom, ad advanced placement black, black studies. James Muwakil is the president of the Lee County chapter of the NAACP. On Saturday, he joined with other NAACP leaders who voted unanimously to ask national headquarters for permission to issue a travel advisory to Florida. Florida's NAACP does not want black people nationwide to even think about visiting our state. We see where the governor is trying to silence black voices. You cannot make this stuff up. Don't come to Florida. There should be a travel ban on the state of Florida because voter ID is required and absentee mail-in ballots without good reason are banned. I can't think of anything more condescending than that. Now, obviously, something like this would never actually be taken seriously in terms of legislation, but just the activist call is kind of sad if you really think about it. I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I spent a good chunk of the year in Florida. It's certainly one of the crazier places in terms of how people drive on the interstate, but for the most part, it's lovely. It's one of the freest places. People tend to be in a great mood. I mean, how could you not be in a good mood in such a beautiful place with beautiful beaches? But if you're a black American who falls for the fear-mongering narratives, you might never be able to see the truth and experience it for yourself. You know, it's a real shame. The state of Florida is frankly a refuge of sanity when the rest of the world is going crazy, especially during the days of the pandemic. It's a place with increasing economic opportunity, but the NAACP essentially wants to go back to some sort of segregation, essentially banning travel to the state of Florida for a particular race. How is that progress? And again, let's reiterate, because of the terrible discriminatory practice of expecting people to show up to vote with their ID in hand. Crazy. But let's address the second element, banning AP Black History Studies. As if the decision is somehow racist. Completely ridiculous and actually, ironically enough, debunked by the graphic that they put up on the screen. AP African American Studies course, topic 4.15, intersection 
intersectionality and activism. Topic 4.19, Black Queer Studies. Oh, I wonder why this was removed from the K through 12 education curriculum. Maybe because it's left-wing activism masquerading as African American studies. Man, again, I would be so insulted to be seeing this stuff if I were black. You know, the idea that I need a racial organization to tell me where I can and can't or should and shouldn't travel, tell me what is and isn't good for me, not to mention feeding into this ridiculous narrative that intersectional feminist studies and queer studies are core concepts of African American studies. I mean, not only that, but the constant hijacking of black issues from the radical feminist left, how incredibly frustrating it must be to be part of a particular community, to have real issues, real dilemmas, seeing your community struggle in terms of economic and societal advancement, and to essentially have white leftist feminists hijack your cause, well, just the branding of it, just the surface level naming of it, using it as a woke Trojan horse to implement their activist indoctrination using Black Lives Matter or Black Studies or Black Issues as a shield. That's what seems to happen every single time if you criticize Black Lives Matter. Well, you must not think Black Lives Matter. You have an issue with AP African American Studies. Well, you must be banning Black History. Leftoids use Black Issues and Black History as a Trojan horse and as a shield to implement their ideas. It's absolutely twisted. I would be so incredibly frustrated. And many people are frustrated. There's this viral clip, a woman named Kofi Monska, a lawyer and mother of three boys, testifying on the issue. Take a look at what she had to say. My name is Kofi Monska. I'm an attorney, wife, and mom to three boys, two of which are in high school. This bill requires that schools teach ethnic studies starting in kindergarten, and I am against this. You might ask, why in the world would a black person speak against ethnic studies? Because not everything that sounds good is good. The definition of ethnic studies right there in the statute says that there is a connection between a person's race and their stratification. The bill tells kids of color that they are stuck in a caste system based on their race. It also tells kids, and I quote, that institutions chronically favor white people and disadvantage people of color. I'm sick of everyone denying the enormous progress we've made in this country, acting like it's 1930. We used to have a race-based system. We got rid of it, and now you're all trying to bring it back. This curriculum will not help kids of color succeed. All it does is remove any reason to try. And I repeat that, it removes any reason to try. My favorite quote from her testimony, the language of this bill tells kids of color that they are stuck in a caste system based on race. I couldn't have said it better myself. But of course, instead of actually debating on the issues, discussing the ideas, understanding why certain curriculums are being removed, understanding the issue that people have, an extremely intellectually reductive debate tactic is used, accusing your opponents of being racist, and then arguing for segregation, telling people of a particular color that they shouldn't come to Florida because of just how evil and terrible it is. You can't make this stuff up, folks. It's absolute wacko clown world. You're not an evil white supremacist. If you have an issue with, let's say, New York City Teachers Union hosting a seminar on the harmful effects of whiteness, you're someone with common sense who understands that constantly pushing racial division and telling young developing minds that the world is out to get them, that life's not fair and no matter how hard they work, they're never gonna get to a particular place because of the color of their skin. That kind of ideology, those kinds of ideas, probably isn't going to lead to a harmonious societal result. Anyways, don't need to overexplain. you guys get it. That's what I got for you, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.